Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a while since our last uh, tutorial, so <laughs> just been busy with uh, homework and exams and assignments and stuff like that, so it's just, right now I just have some time open to make some tutorials for you guys, so I'm just working on this one. So, uh, last time we worked on variables, and what variables are, doubles and ints and strings. I don't know if I went into strings much, but strings are variables. Um, we went into casting a little bit at the end. It was a little rush, the casting, so... I don't know, that there wasn't much else to it, but yes. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about instance variables and methods. Um, this lesson may... You're going to have to trust me on some stuff. I'm not going to explain some stuff now. I'll explain it in some lessons upcoming, and I think I told you that in the beginning too. Such as what public does, and static, and stuff like that. But, um, and yeah, that's about it. So, I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, just to so I don't go over their time lengths or whatever there are. But I'll try and see what we can do. So anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the method. So you should know that we have... Actually, I don't know if I told you this or not, but we have, there's two types of classes within Java. There's uh, special classes that we that we like give to the JVM to get our program running. Um, this, these are classes such as this one that contain a main method, okay? And uh, so that it can say, okay, here's the first one I want you to run. Run this and do that. And there's also regular classes, which don't need main methods. And some examples would be, if I go in here, these, this one. Okay, pirate, I think. Yes, this is a class that doesn't have a main method, as you see. There's no main method. And this would probably be the best one to start showing you guys instance variables and methods, because it contains them. And then there's pirate game, which is a class that has a main method. As you can see, public, static, void, main, all that. So... I'll show you with this class. Um, we'll go and create this later, or I'll get you guys to create this on your own later. But um, anyways, go back to here. So this is our class that we created in the last one. Um, we did some casting here, and it has contained some variables, two doubles, uh, base and height. Now, these doubles, um, what's special about instance variables, because these are not instance variables, or any variables, actually, they're declared, they're, um, they have scope. Okay, and what scope is, is it means that Anything, if you see the code blocks here, the, these things, these little squiggly brackets, um, it means scope. So anything declared within these two code blocks can be used anywhere in those code blocks. Anything declared in these two code blocks can be used in those code blocks. So if we go into one of the other ones, this this J option pane right here, okay, hold on. If, if, I, create, if I create a new double called... Uh, var1 set it equal to 10 okay so there I just declared a variable we showed you that in the last one I cannot go and use that variable here and I can't put var1 here because it's gonna give me an error saying that it can't it's not instantiated yet yeah, cannot be resolved to a variable because it's not instantiated here however we can use things called instance variables which can be used throughout the whole class okay so these are instance variables num eye patches and num bullets Okay, um, they can be used anywhere in here. So I can go in here and I can put num i patches equals five. I'm not going to get an error for that because I can use it. Okay, and I can use it again down here. Um, that's yeah, that's they're they're in scope, so it's within the code blocks. Um, they're visible. They can be used by any method within a class. They can also be used by any method outside of a class, which means only if they're public, though. And I'll explain public and private and the differences between that later. However, you'll see the formatting of them. You have public, which is what we had for something like the main method, public static void main. So we have public. We have int because it's an integer value and the name of the, va the variable. We can call that variable in here if you see. If you see right here, this is creating a new class, just like the J option pane one, how we have like this J option pane my IO equals new J option pane. Same thing, it's just saying pirate, so the pirate class, pirate Pete equals new pirate. So it's just saying we're creating a new class, so we need this class somewhere in our program. Then we're going to call pirate Pete because that's what we named this class. We're going to say dot using the dot notation, um, num bullets. So they're saying there's a, there's a variable inside um, pirate Pete inside the pirate class called num bullets okay so that's what the public does if we were to change this to private however and I'll go into more of this later in different terms um, we cannot call this anymore as you see we get an error it's gonna say it's not visible because it's not we can we can't use private things in here because they're only visible here and this is just for certain there's certain times that you would want to use private and I'll explain those in a whole different lesson I'll have a lesson 
dedicated to like static and private and all that stuff. And yeah, but for now, just remember public, okay? Public, it allows you to see it from any class within that directory. So these are in the same directory. So you'll see if I go into here, 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 they're in the same directory, okay? So I can use anything in, I can use it in pirate game or in pirate. If I had another file in there, I could use it in there too. Um, it's only in scope and used with, and variables are different, okay? So variables can only be used in scope, which is in between these code blocks, and can only be used with that method. So if we have this method here, and we, as I showed you earlier, we had a new int of type um, legs. Okay, so there we go, whatever. New int of type legs. We can't go in here and put legs equals two. We can't do that because there's no there's no legs variable within this code block. But there is within this code block if we do it like this. If we went public um, int legs, and then we took this out here because we can't have it twice. Now it works because it's within the code block, as you see. Anything in this code block can be used by any method in that class. Okay? That's pretty much instance variables. Um, it's not that much, but just remember that you can call classes within the same directory, and um, yeah, there's not much to that. But uh, anyways, now we're gonna get onto methods a little bit. Um, methods are such as the public static void main. This is a method, okay? These are methods, shoot gun, pirate speak, okay? Now what methods are is their instance variables are numbers that hold value, okay? So an instance variable could be like like uh, eye color, and your eye color is red. Um, your number of eyes, your, it's, it's certain characteristics about something, okay? Or not characteristics, but it's certain values, okay? And methods are doing things. So if we had a class called person, as I was showing you earlier, a class called... Um, uh, vending machine. We would have of an instance variable called like um, called button, called money. We'd have one called like time, called choice. But then when when we'd have a button called like drop, drop soda, um, button pushed, stuff like that. Count money. We'd have methods do that because methods do things and instance variables are just like characteristics and they're just like face value things so inside shoot gun as you see here we have it just displaying bang oops it's just saying bang that's it now methods they have a different uh, the formatting is kind of the same okay so we have public okay void just like we had public static void here it's the same thing public void then the method name okay and don't worry about the string sentence i'll explain that in probably about five minutes um so public void pirate speak. That's pretty much it. That's that's a method. And then inside the code block, you can do things such as we had in here. So in this one, we could have a whole nother class with all this stuff. And then we could just call that class like we did here and just call the methods that, that say like calculate area and just call that method calculate area and it would do it in here. It's just to clean up your code. So when people look at this, they, they don't have a huge like mirage of like everything just coming. And it's also good because if we make a if we make a class called my utils, I don't know if I have it here, and I'm not gonna switch for it. No, I don't. But I have. Oh, hold on, I can get it later. I'll be teaching you about this as well. But um, it should be in here. This is the latest one. I'll show you it in a minute. Actually, if you want, um, if we have something like my utils, okay, you'll see that there's a bunch of different methods. Okay, it's gonna look different because it's in thing. But here's a method here. Here's a method here, and it's saying get in input. So we're going to give it a string value, and it's going to give us an integer input. Um, this is the show message dialog. You give it some text, and it'll put the text in here, and stuff like that. So they're very helpful methods are, because you can call them by anything. Um, yeah. So what this string sentence is, is they're called arguments. Okay, so you can pass a variable to a method. Like, I can instantiate something in here called pirate speak, okay? So I can have a string, and this string is please pass the table salt. And it's going to take that and go, okay, well, pirate speak, we're going to send please pass the table salt into string sentence. So it's going to be passed into the variable sentence, and then we can add to the sentence, okay? And we can print it out. So if I run this program, uh, you will see what happens. Okay, so first, first it says bang. Now, why is that? So we're, it runs the main method, it searches for the main method, runs it, creates a new thing called pirate Pete, says num bullets is five, so he has five bullets. 
numi patches as one, and then the first method that runs is shoot gun. So if we go here, it'll say go over here, go to shoot gun. So it says bang. Okay, and now that we're we've done running that code, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to pirate speak. And it's gonna send it the variable, please pass the table salt. And then it's gonna take that and it's gonna go, it's gonna it should say R, please pass the table salt, you scurvy dog. And it's gonna print it out. So if we hit OK. R, please pass the table salt, you scurvy dog. Okay, so you see it's it's just passing variables back and forth. Now I, I want you guys, I'm gonna put some code in the I'll put some testing code in the description so you can see this. But I'm gonna want you guys to create a meth a um two classes. Okay. A class called my class, and I'll have it all in the description. You can go look this up. If you don't feel like doing this, you don't have to, but it, it is good just, just so you can understand it. Um, this lesson is kind of brief because I don't know really what else to say, and I haven't really done one in a while. So, uh, yeah, basically what it's going to be is you're going to have a class called my class. Uh, do I have it here? No, I don't. You're going to have a class called my class, okay? And there's going to be an instance variable. You're going to create your own instance variable of type int. Okay, and you're going to call it instvar1. Uh, there's going to be a method inside that method that displays a message dialog that says hello from method1. Okay, so it's kind of like we did here. Okay, but you don't need to accept any variables. It's, it's just like this one. It's just going to say hello from method1. And there's going to be a class in it that instantiates an object of uh, type my class. Like this is going to be another class file, just like we have the pirate game. Another class, and it's going to make a new uh, my class. And it's going to set the inst var 1 to 15 so it's going to do something like this okay and then it's going to call the method that says calls method 1 so you're going to call method 1 just like we did here this is calling method shoot gun you're going to call method 1 okay um, I don't really know what else to say about this uh, you can you can send me a message if you don't understand this completely um, you do need to understand this but just shoot me up a message if you don't understand it fully I'm just not gonna go much further with this because I don't want to make these too long and you can get very off topic. So yes, um, that's about it for here. Uh, send me a message and go in the description, download the file, the text file, and make your own class, okay? I want you to do this. Alright, uh, have a good day, people.